Welcome back to Manchester. The big return from Holland. Back to Greater Manchester, which... Trying to shoot a little video here, lads, and you're making a bit of noise, passing your little... Not little. Your scaffolding up the ways. Looks dangerous. Okay, viewers, we're in Spinning Fields, the Canary Wharf of Manchester. If you like such an analogy. We're at 3 Hardman Square and there's a hive of activity, a bustle of global citizens enjoying the fine Manchester weather. It's currently 7 degrees Celsius with a 15 mile an hour gentle breeze, if you can call that gentle. Gentle compared to what we've had recently. <laughs> I was going to say, and when you're used to punches, a gentle caress is uh, maybe just what nature ordered. What am I talking about? Anyway, look at all these people. They're... Uh, getting ready to work hard. So, uh, first synchronicity of the day. I've noticed these posters. It looks like it's Pete Doherty giving you the finger. The V finger there. No, no bill shit. F council tax. F energy bills. And funnily enough, Stacy's World Rocks was the very company that donated me the... Uh, no, I'm, I'm getting totally confused. It was actually my... Uh, friend Harvey at Wide Awake Media, but I do have another jumper from uh, Stacy's World Rocks. I'm probably going to leave this clip in, even though I've absolutely fudged it, but we're going towards number one, Spinning Fields, which is the home, the spiritual home and the physical home of WeWork. WeWork was slightly overvalued by the stock markets, uh, made, made a few billion, lost a few billion. Um, I promise you it was perfectly honest. It wasn't a bunch of brokers and lawyers um, creating a a bubble to harvest millions from that bubble? No, of course not, it was perfectly normal. Anyway, speaking of bubbles and harvest, because they work in a controlled <laughs> office, they've got a fake, a fake woods there, which is on the big screen so that they don't feel so depressed at their cubicles. So while you look at these flames and ponder the orb, I just want to say uh, a viewer sent me a a video of uh, none other than the Swedish doom goblin Greta Thunberg partying in a nightclub, necking a bottle of Heineken and generally jumping around like a normal 20 year old or whatever age she is now. I asked him, I said, whoa, that's funny. That's a very funny video. Can I please share it? And he goes, God, no. They'd figure out who took it and I'd be sacked. I've probably said too much already. Hello, 45 degree traffic light. Who's reversed into you? Just walking through the famous Piccadilly Gardens. They've uh, fixed all the grass with new grass. Out with the old, in with the new, and it does look quite nice. I can understand why they've put the fencing around it so that the grass can develop some roots and take hold and become the native grass. So the area frequented the covered section here at the Chernobyl wall, or shall I say Berlin wall. The area frequented by the very diverse narcotics distributors has been officially shut down. It's now a site and it's, uh, I'd like to say it's a site to behold, but because they've put a fence around it, it's a site to not behold. There's a bit of lighting. I can see a Citroen van. There's no workman. Protected by RoboWatch. That tree that you see right there was planted in uh, 1990 following the attack of uh, Madas Hussein against the Kurds in the north. If you remember, despite all the other things Saddam is said to have done, he uh, certainly ordered the gassing of the Kurds. I think 5,000 men, women and children perished. So uh, some may say Saddam Hussein got exactly what he deserved break on through to the other side. This is the bus depot area with Piccadilly Gardens tram stop, which is this thing here. And that tram is Berry via, via, via Victoria. They're getting ready to do something here and uh, it's polishing a turd. It's putting makeup on a very ugly person. It's going to do something, but maybe not the effect that they hope. 
Always interesting when the money van, the Brinks mat, the G4S money van arrives at the bank to either drop off or pick up cash and there's a bunch of transient street sleeping enthusiasts between the van and the, the van and the bank. It's uh, and my God, like here you see Zambrero to my right. It's a Mexican burrito restaurant. And look at the size of the bodyguard they have to put on the door because this is Cracky Gardens. Which is the nicest dog in the world and why is it the Doberman? Someone shouted my name and the dog turns around. Go on, Woofer. Oh, how awkward. These machines... I had a big rant yesterday about customer services and people in retail environments. And uh, the latest one is uh, they forget to remove the security tag, you beep, and then they ask you to uh, basically be searched as if uh, you're some sort of criminal. 99 times out of 100, it's the fault of the corporation, but every once in a while, there's a thief in action. Seems like we're going to be lucky today. There's a Ian Wright sighting. Ian Wright is a former successful English footballer. Now he's taken to the streets of Manchester to, to sing and ask people for change. He, might, he may have made a few poor investment choices in the 90s and early 2000s, but here he is. Look, he, as you can see, he's got a sore leg from all the football he's been playing. The Jehovah's Witnesses. They, these ladies have literally seen old, old Jev, Jevy, Jehovah. Did you see him? Yes, I saw him. Everything all right, love? Oh, everything's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. How are you? You okay? Very well, thank you. Looks like you're taking our photograph. Oh, I am. Yes, I am. Yes. Without any permission? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, you may be mistaken. Um, you don't need permission in public to oh, no, take no, videos I wasn't of people. Go. I just wanted to see if we could help you with that. Was all. That's not your energy. You're coming with. You got offended by me filming. Not offended, but I did want to know if there's anything we can help Are you going to ask everyone who happens to catch you by camera if this is anything? <laughs> oh, anyway, I just want to say, from the Council of the Vatican, you guys are heathens and you should come back to Christ. Oh, um, Jehovah's yeah. Witnesses, who's Jehovah anyway? You know what, and why oh, did you witness him? No, no, I don't believe you. And the viewers won't either. Bye. If I needed help. Yeah, I need help to escape all these fake Christian cults on the, on the street. Well, you know it says in the Bible, the weak of character flee when no one pursueth, just like you guys are. But you don't follow the Bible, do you? So there you go. Okay, we're here at the Iraqi consulate. It's run by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Consulate General of the Republic of Iraq in Manchester. And what a fetching eagle. Reminds me of the Bundesrepublik of Deutschland. The reason why I'm filming here, not that there's anything specifically cool about the Iraqi embassy. I mean, they've got a nice Babylonian uh, picture there, but someone has drawn a bunch of very simple smiley faces on the pillars. The four pillars of Christianity. No. Anyway, someone has been very happy, very pleased with their graffis, graffitis. And we come down to the Gary Neville owned. Gary Neville, another footballer, very pop. Oh, I wanted that weird orange vehicle with the snorkel. I don't even know what that is. Sangyong, Land Rover. Now that I look, yeah, that's a, a Land Rover Defender. That's had a body kit put on it. Oh, well. And remember when we filmed the traffic warden ignoring the car? Oh, he's got a disabled badge. Oh, he park wherever you want. And how about BMW 5 Series boy? What about him? Oh, he's a diplomatic license plate of the embassy and consulate of Iraq. So he can park wherever he wants. Here's Ian Wright again. He's going to get me into more trouble. People coming up to me asking me if I'm okay whilst gritting their teeth and doing that hyena smile at me. Just off Market Street, down there. Barclays Bank. You may have seen the pro-Palestinians always at bothering Barclays Bank because being a bank their job is to make profit, and the bank does not care if your profit is Semitic. 
or non-Semitic. So because they've dealt with Israel, they want to shut it down. But anyway, they've built posh apartments, expensive apartments, Manhattan-style loft apartments here on the back. And I've had many, many as in two arguments with, uh, I don't know, with security guards here and the construction men getting annoyed with me filming. Now, the first bit of absurdity I want to show you is look at the amount of thick locks it takes to stop one car parking in this one corner. <laughs> it's, uh, and each one has its own individual padlock, paddy lock, Patrick lock. And if that wasn't enough, so we're here at these like super expensive uh, flats and they've put a camera in a cage because this is a uh, cracky central. We're in the middle of cracky central and they're obviously worried that people are gonna smash up their ball cameras. But you can go in, look, Kula, Kula Shaker. Go Vinda Jaya Jaya. So you can go in, Kula Apartments, blah, blah, blah. The door there is locked, fair enough, but I'm in, the, I'm in the system. And if that wasn't absurd enough, I've been enjoying watching, I get a special interest now in a while. My special interest at the moment is people escaping from prison and getting away with it. And uh, I'm looking at the side of this building. There's another camera in a ball there. But you're all looking at the, at the tradesman's entrance with me. Mm. Viewers like uh, a rear entrance, so they like a fire door anyway. So I've had a look. Let me just uh, open up my aperture. Let me get see if I can make this a bit brighter. And then you come up here, you look up. It's you can get to the very top of the building, and probably into each floor from here. Let me just change the settings back to back to civilized. Is that okay? Yeah, that'll do. So. Uh, Cooler apartments, someone that knows someone in charge of this apartment block will watch this and they're going to be spoken to about the open door, you know. In fact, there might even be a crackhead in there right now. Let me just listen. There's some scratching noises. I can hear a lighter going off. Like you hear in a lot of these rap tracks these days. Oh, the hell, Ian Wright's everywhere. Hello, sir. Hello, mate. How are you? Yeah. I'm good. Sir. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Go on, Ian. Go on, mate. I almost didn't recognize him without a football. And uh, without his son. Does he even see his son? Is that Jordan? Katie Price? Is that his? Oh, fight breaking out up ahead. Here we go. Fight, fight, fight time. It's fight time. Oh, Blondie has given up. Black Beanie has won. Let's go to the platform so that we can film them without getting into shit. Let's go to the platy. In case the international audience doesn't know what being called a grass means, it means you're a snitch, you speak to the cops, you tattletale. <sighs> Never a dull moment in Manchester. Except all the dull moments in between the exciting moments. No, you're too handsome for my camera, yeah, yeah. It won't steal your soul, bro. Oh, there goes, there goes my umbrella. Oh, shit. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm not too bad. How are you? Is it good? There's a standoff. Blondie says that Beanie is a grass. Yes, Charlie Hello, mate. How are you? Yeah, You're right. Yeah, just film me some crackheads, you know, usual, usual fare. Yo, let me get a picture, yo. Anyway, I, th I think standoff's over. Grass. Black Beanie is one. Blondie's running. Wait, Blondie's coming back one Yo, minute. Charlie. Yeah, let's get a quick one in. Thanks, man. Yeah, All the best. One. See ya. Yo, See ya. Man. See ya, mate. All the best. Look. Oh, there's a tram in my way. God damn it, tram. A tram in my way. I bet I'm going to miss the fisty cuffs. I'm going to miss the fisty cuffs. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Blondie is still shouting at him but retreating whenever he comes close. Come on, Blondie. You're letting down the blondes. Black Beanie has a... Uh... Oh, Black Beanie, he's behind the... Oh! Where's Black Bean? Where's Black Bean's shoe? He's in the middle of the road down there. It's Ogre, guys. It's Ogre. Oh, mother lover! Wait a minute, I think there's more. More emergency vehicles. Oh no, I'm, I'm hearing the same one. It's bouncing off the walls here on the corner of Market Street and Fountain Street. Away he goes. Okay, all, we're in Sedgley Park. It's uh, a very Jewish area, a lot of Jewish people around here. And uh, I just want to read you out a uh, story that happened exactly a week ago in a predominantly Jewish part of London called Golders Green, which was funnily enough the first place in London that I, uh, I lived in when I moved there in 2005. So a 34-year-old man was arrested in connection with an alleged anti-Semitic attack at a kosher shop in Golders Green. And I've seen the videos. There was uh, just stand, uh, you know, passers-by filming. There was uh, CCTV. I don't know if I saw the CCTV, but there was a, a, a kind of 30-year-old guy in uh, Islamic robes wearing a Palestinian scarf or Arabic scarf. Is that kafia? Is that how you describe it? And he was being jostled by members of the Metropolitan Police and also the Jewish Private Security, CST. I, wa I had started filming here so that the culmination of my telling you this story would have had the two CST officers that are patrolling this area arrive in front of my camera. But not today, no reveal today. Okay, we're here outside Noshers, which funnily enough is kosher. Kosher, and see all these uh, bright bibs? All the bright bibs. These are the CST. They are, oh, there's another kosher place, Meat Mart. And uh, yeah, I, it's funny, I started filming and they wait exactly behind the green car as I was trying to film them. Come on, CST, I've got good things to say about you and your monitoring and vigilance and walking around because I hate to be Mr. Randy Pan, the pessimist man, but uh, as the Gaza war continues, I think we're going to see more 34 your old uh, Islamic men of Somali origin going to predominantly Jewish areas with bladed articles trying to intimidate and potentially injure. God damn it! Get out from behind the car. There's a young guy in the shop. He's seen me. Hope they know I'm an ally, I'm no threat. Hey, CST guys! They're ignoring me now. No, they're, they're deep in conversation. They can't hear me. C, C, CST. <laughs> CST. What does it even stand for? Community Social Trust. Anyhow. All right, it's been five minutes now. I'm getting annoyed. If I were doing hostile reconnaissance, they wouldn't have noticed me. Where's CST? Come on, CST. God, even like, the lady in the green car, she's noticed me, but not CST. They're too busy in chat. Can you get the CST behind you? Oh, wait, here's another one. Come on, boys. Sorry, not Jesus, I should say like Elijah, Moses. Hey guys, you CST. Just want to say well done for saving the guys in Golders Green last week. Oh, sorry? Saving the community in Golders Green. I'm doing a YouTube video about the whole thing. So um, I, it's fine. I pulled up and then you all hid behind the car and my shot was ruined. But the name's Charlie. It was a rifle. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> But, no, name's Charlie Veach. I've been supporting the community. Hey, sorry, it's a left-hander. Nice You're right. You, hey, guys, nice one. You're very welcome. Thank you. So, yeah, I saw the video of the guy with the knife in Golders Green. Yeah, what, what was the... To be fair, we don't get much intel back in, in that regard. Yeah. Was, it, was he a mental health patient or, or was he sort of genuinely anti-Semitic and... Unfortunately, he was genuinely anti... My theory is he was sane enough 
but he'd been getting himself wound up by listening to the sermons yeah, and right, you know because it's yeah so they, they pick and choose yeah, of course. so but there you go but now i see you guys oh every time i drive past i see you guys very obviously Jules, here can we get you on the gram and the light can we find of course you? yeah yeah, yeah. Tra no charlie veach on youtube right, and uh okay, yeah perfect. yeah and um yeah the, a lot of the people they know me around here I used to work for Sam Khan at the claiming right. for you uh, thing. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the good old days. <laughs> Cheers, guys. So you've come to sunny Manchester. <laughs> Bloody hell, I know, mate. That's the reason why I've not got out of the car. <laughs> anyway. I'll give you the high vis, mate. Hey, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's it. Well, listen, guys, have a great day. Yeah, and all the best. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Cheers, guys. All the best. Yeah, see you, guys. Bye-bye.